Hi! Welcome to my Ella's world. Alright, so today's topic is going to be about colorism and I am looking to create a series called Colorism and so like for example this is going to be called Colorisms and Emojis. Another one will be called Colorisms and Sexuality, Colorism and da da da, right? Because I feel like colorism is a framework in its own that really should be used to like look at things the same way feminism is a framework to look at things. I think colorism is a framework that says so many things that are just like really ignored and I want to get down to the bottom of this. Before I continue, I also want to say it is really important to share work of colorism from dark-skinned people. I, the amount of people who I see share work of colorism from light-skinned people is frustrating for many reasons. One of the reasons is because a lot of times when I see people talk about colorism who are light-skinned, they want to define colorism and talk about how it's bad and it ends there, when in actuality it should be not only talking about how it's bad, but talking about how you contribute to it. Like, it's kind of the same thing about being fed racism from white voices. Like, I want to hear about the ways you're actually reenacting racist things. I don't want to just hear you point about like how it's bad over there. Talk about how we actively contribute. Um, also, it's really important to pass the motherfucking mic, bro. Like, if you have a position of power, like if you're light skin, you talk about colorism, cool, bet. But you aren't getting the same hate and vitriol as like us dark skin creators who do talk about this stuff because I've gotten death threats from it. People call me bitter and jealous all the times. I get mad DMs with negative thoughts and I also have good stuff too but it's like we are actually living it, existing in it and speaking on it. So if you really want to be an ally and support dark skin voices then pass the mic and showcase dark skin people who are actually doing the work because there are mad people out here doing the work. Like, it's okay to admit that you have privileges and also still talk about something that's very traumatic and oppressive. Both can exist at the same time, and the easier we learn that both things can exist, the better we have for the future. Because I can tell you to love your body all day, but the journey that I'm going to make as a thin person, able-bodied person to love my body is going to be completely different than a dark skin fat girl, and I 100% always see that. And it's important to once again also pass the mic that direction as well, highlight more fat, bodied, disabled body, dark skinned people who are also speaking out and just speaking in general. It doesn't have to always be about colorism because obviously I talk about way more things than colorism, but it's something I really want to talk about because I think a lot about it and yes. Also, before I continue, if you support my work, if you gain things from my work, drop a coin, drop a coin, open the purse, drop a coin, especially because I feel like I give out so much information about things that are very difficult and I try to make them very understandable very easy to get and i don't like when i feel like it's just being taken and then appropriated by other people who aren't dark skin and are making profit from talking about the same things that i and other content creators have been talking about for a long time colorism isn't a trend to talk about it's not something that you engage with here and there and you like make a post about it it's not like please don't make this like the black square thing where you just post a black square and you're done it's something that you have to be doing the rest your whole life i have to unlearn um, ways I was taught to hate dark skin my whole life. Just like I have to unlearn ways I was taught to hate blackness my whole life. It's not a one-time thing. If you want to support people speaking on colorism, then promote and financially support dark skin people who make content on this that you find helpful. So, join my Patreon, you know what I'm saying, cash at me, Venmo me, PayPal me, whatever. Send me something if you feel like this work has been helpful for you. Alright, so today I want to talk about colorism and emojis because this shit is mad spicy and I got a lot to say. Just a quick um, outline again. So colorism is the discrimination of darker skinned people, dark skinned people, period. I like to just always kind of remind y'all what that is so we can keep going with these colorism series. So I just want to first off start by saying, generally with emojis, the rule of thumb is to use the motherfucking color that is your actual color. Like you can't go wrong in life when you just stay in your lane. That is the most simple advice, but the way people just literally cannot do this is wild. Like, if you white, use that white emoji. If you light, use that light emoji. If you dark, use that dark emoji. We don't need to be switching this stuff up. I be seeing, you know, I be seeing some mad sus suspect white folks who be like, oh yeah, I can't wait to go to the Black Lives Matter protest with the black fist emoji. Bro, don't do that. That's mad whack. That's disrespectful. You're not black. Also, I think it's really interesting, and this is how colorism comes into play. Whenever people want to talk about being pro-black or supporting the movement, everybody always wants to use the darkest emoji, right? Like, including light-skinned people. Like, light-skinned people be like, I'm down for the cause. Black, dark-skinned fist. And I'm like, okay, but you're not dark-skinned. 
but I think that says a lot because I feel like we feel like that darkest color symbolizes a lot when it comes to being seen as black, being seen as strong. Um, there was this white boy I knew who would always use the like, you know, the, the muscle, you know, the muscle emoji, the dark skin muscle emoji. He would always use the dark skin muscle emoji to be like, we're going to win this fight with the dark skin muscle emoji. And I think this shows that we interpret darker skin, dark skin as being masculine and being aggressive. So whenever it's all pro-black, aggression, fighting, people use a lot of dark skin emojis. But when we talk about being a princess or being a queen, I see a lot of light skin emojis. And I think that's like really fucked up. Another thing I wanna point out is, okay, so I had a conversation um, so if you're light-skinned, do not use dark skin emojis, especially do not use dark skin emojis when you're trying to make a movement or a point. If you're trying to show like that there are different shades of black, then show that. But don't use a dark skin emoji to show strength because us, the, the problem with colorism is that dark skin is always interpreted as strong. And like I think a huge thing I fight for and other, and other um, content creators fight for is I'm more than just strong. I don't want you to turn to me to be the image of the revolution or turn to me to be the image of strength or turn to me to be the image of fight. I am soft. I am cute. I am, you know what I'm saying, that bitch who also can be weak at times. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I think it's really, really, really problematic to constantly push strength on dark skinned people because a lot of times the strength that y'all admire, we don't really have an option on if we wanted to be strong. It's kind of like we were forced to be strong. So please refrain from using dark skin or associating dark skin with strength. It's, don't do that shit. Another thing I want to talk about is dark skin people who use the light skin emoji all right i have a friend and she's dark skin and she uses the light skin emoji all the time like she's like i can't wait for us to hang out and she'll put me as the dark skin emoji and her as the light skin emoji and all the time i was seeing it and i was like okay that's mad sus but then you know i was like let me go out here let me finally say something so i said something to her i was like why do you use why do you use the dark skin emoji with me and the light skin emoji with yourself like you're dark skin and she was like first off I feel like my skin color more likely looks like the light skin emoji. And second off, I don't like the dark skin emoji because you can't see the features. Dog, it's the same face, just darker. And this logic is so interesting because a lot of times people don't like dark skin dolls, dark skin cartoons, dark skin people because they say, oh, it's too dark. I don't like, I can't see the features. Also too, as a model, photographers would easily say shit like, oh, we can't shoot you because, or we have to use more light with you because you're so dark and all your features just blend as one. I've had a photographer in London tell me that exact thing. So this is like impression that dark skin means you can't see our features because to you it's just painted black. It's painted just dark with no depth. But it's the same emoji. Like they didn't, they didn't make the dark skin emoji like more abstract or something they weren't like oh let's just erase it's the same emoji on all the complexions it's just literally a complexion so it just shows the aversion to the dark skin emoji which is also similar to that test they did with that little girl or a little boy and they had to pick which doll they liked and they all picked the white doll or the light doll it's the same thing going on with these emojis where people are wanting to have lighter emojis and a lot of dark skin girls, darker than me, will want to use the brown skin emoji because nobody wants to be associated with being dark skin and, and visibly seeing a cartoon of being dark skin. When I have my show, I used to I make merchandise um, of Maya's world, which is a picture of myself. It's very dark with like my nappy hair. It's, it was cute. I had I sold some T-shirts. I had a girl, a light skin girl. She wanted to um, buy a T-shirt. I had made 10 t-shirts to sell and I, well, I originally made 12 t-shirts. Two of them I didn't sell because the two that I had um, with me were printed, they were printed too light. So like the cartoon was like, uh, cause you know when you print, you don't know what you're gonna get. So the two that was a test was like a printing of it, but it was like way too, it was like a light skin Milo's world and then an even lighter skin one. So I was like, oh, we're not gonna sell it. And I had my assistant at the time, she laid out all the, the t-shirts. On accident, one of the t-shirts, that was the light skin one was there. So when we had sold all 10, she was like, oh, we have an extra one. She gave it to the girl. And then she had realized that that was the light skin t-shirt. So she was like, actually, no, sorry, we're not selling that one. And the girl came up to me and she was like, I want that light skin, that light skin Maya was world t-shirt. And I was like, mm, no, cause that the one I'm selling, the 10 that I have that are dark skin are the ones that I'm selling. And she goes, but that one's prettier. That's 
that's me, sis. Like, what do you what do you say? And I was like, and I was like, well, that's supposed to be a picture of me, and I drew it, so I want it to be the image that I had in my mind. And also, what do you mean it's prettier? Like, that's that's like how I see myself. And she was like, yeah, by the light skin person, I feel like I connect more to the lighter version of you. And I was like, I don't know if you, and this is at my own, on my own show, like, I was like, I don't know if you're realizing that, like, what you're saying is, like, really colorist. And, like, what you're saying is that you would, you would be more okay with me and you would see more of yourself in me if I was lighter. And she really didn't see it and she didn't understand why that was, like, really offensive. But I say that all to say that, like, even though emojis are light, it, it is essentially that doll test over and over and over again. And people are still wanting to be lighter. And dark skin girls who are darker than me still want to use a brown skin emoji or a light skin emoji because they feel like that looks more like them. I think also too with being dark skin, people don't realize that it's it's I think your whole life you're told to not be darker. You're told to always like strive for a little bit of lightness. Hella dark skin girls be like, oh but I'm kind of brown skin or like oh my god, look at the inside of my wrists. It's brown. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like when you're black, you're like taught to like like the parts of you that haven't had the sun hit. So we're always wanting and striving to be lighter. We're always wanting to use a little makeup a little bit lighter. And it wasn't until maybe like four years ago, five years ago, that I was like, fuck that. Like, I want to be darker. I don't want to strive towards lightness, whiteness, brown skinness. This is also another reason why I don't like Beyonce's song called Brown Skin, because I don't identify as brown skin. Dark skin is a very different everything than brown skin like don't call me brown skin i'm not brown skin because if y'all know light skin brown skin dark skin that is what it is so i have embraced being dark and like that's something that was like a whole loving experiment for me and it changed my whole artwork it changed my whole outlook it changed what i was attracted to when i started to see that as not the worst thing possible so i think a lot of times when people use emojis we're just like oh that dark one is so dark unless it comes to a revolution once it comes to fighting then i love that dark one but if it comes to me and being seen as soft and being seen as all these things and like not aggressive nobody wants to use that also you know that emoji is like this i feel like people be using that that emoji when they try to be these are dark skin one when they try to be like sassy and that's mad colorist once again so these are all tropes that people have against dark skin that we just see acted out like why is this one with the dark skin one why is that always used as sassy like why are you using black emojis generally to be sassy or to show a movement or to show fighting or to show power or to show strength? Why are we, why, why can't I be a princess? Not that I really want to be a princess, I don't really like, you know what I'm saying? Like, why can't I be a motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? Why can't I be a princess? Like, why can't I be, like, soft? Like, why is it always the sass or nothing? So, um, yes. And also to my dark skin girls, embrace being dark skin like i know it's really easy to say um very easy to say but there's nothing wrong with dark skin emojis there's nothing wrong with dark skin dolls there's nothing wrong with dark skin cartoons there's nothing wrong with seeing yourself in being dark but it's really interesting how people just like can't really see like their own complexion i think sometimes it's like this dysphoria around being dark and knowing where you stay on a spectrum like because you've been taught to kind of hate your skin for so long that it's hard to actually see where what your skin looks like so i want to end that yo like message to white people don't use black emojis Message to light skin people, don't use dark emojis. The only time you can use these emojis is if like, is if like you're like, oh, I can't wait to hang out with my friend today. And then you use your emoji skin color and then your friend's emoji skin color. You'd be like, ah, oh, I love when we hang out. And then you want to go through and use the emojis that are appropriate, do that. But don't be like, fuck the man. And then have a dark skin ass emoji and then you mad light skin. Don't, please don't. Just use your, we get it. We get, when you use your light skin emoji and you say that, it, it carries. We get it. Fuck the man. I'm here for you. I'm here for it. You don't gotta pretend. You don't gotta like dark skin face. If that's a thing. Like black face. You don't gotta do that. We get it. We get it. So yes, I'm trying to do this dark skin and series, which is where I analyze different things through the lens of being dark skin. If you have any suggestions of other things you want me to analyze, I kind of have an idea of like 12 things I want to do. So I'm going to try and do it every week, knowing me. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what that's going to look like. But <laughs> I would try and do it as frequently as I can because I think it's important to analyze things through a colorist lens.